Welcome to using the Dynamics 365 Connected Field Service Demo Builder. In this brief tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use the Demo Builder to very quickly provision um, Dynamics 365 demos uh, for Connected Field Service for the, the simulator, the Azure MX chip, as well as a particle photon or electron. So we're going to go to builder.cfsdemo.com, click on Organizational Account, click Sign In. I'm now logged in as my demo builder. So the first thing you're going to notice here is you see I have access to my subscriptions. So I have one here and then I have access to the resource group. I'm going to pick my tenant here. Pick my next tenant down. So this actually allows me to skip tenants. So I'm actually moving from my um, in between my tenants that I have here. And see how I just switch over to my Microsoft internal tenant. I can pick my resource group. I'm going to pick my um, Fall Blitz group. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Storage Account. And we're going to change the temperature here to 21 degrees. And we're going to click Update Changes. That take, took the, therm the thermostat from doing 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 21 degrees Celsius. And I click on the CFS Stream job here. You're going to see I'm going to take the query and I'm going to change it to Modified Alert Query. I'm going to hit the Apply button. What this is actually going to do is it's actually going to stop the Stream Analytics job, apply the query to the Stream Analytics job, and do all the work behind the scenes for you. You'll also notice up here I can see whether my API connection is connected or not. So if I have my API connection or not. And if I click on IoT Hub here, you're going to see that I have the connection string for the IoT Hub itself. And if I click on the device itself, you're going to see here that I have a connection string for that specific device. So if I want to not have to jump back and forth to the Azure portal, this makes it very, very simple. So here it is. It's disconnected. Here's the primary connection string and secondary connection string. So it makes it very simple for me to be able to, um, in one source, have those devices and show them for me without jumping back and forth to the Azure portal. So that's it. That's the demo of the Connected Field Service Demo Builder.